Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I want to show you how to set up your wireless microphone. We film videos like this all the time, so if you want to see more videos on sound system setup or microphones or any event technology, please like and subscribe. So how do you set up your wireless microphone system? In this video, we're going to be using the Shure ULX wireless microphone. We're going to be using it with a wireless handheld microphone, but the same steps go for almost any wireless manufacturer or any microphone type. So it could be a lapel mic, it could be a wireless guitar system, it could be a wireless boom mic, anything like that. We're going to use it with this kit here from Shure ULX just to show you the basic process. So first things first, we're going to go through all the different types of equipment that we have here in front of us. We have the wireless receiver. This is the radio receiver and this is the microphone and transmitter. For the wireless handheld, it's two in one. If you have a wireless lapel mic, the lapel mic is the microphone and then it goes to a body pack, which is the transmitter. But in the handheld microphones, the microphone is up here and the transmitter is in the bottom half. We have two full-size antennas for this microphone and we have an XLR cable to connect this to our mixer. We also have the power supply for the receiver. So first things first, we're going to get the antennas on the receiver and we're going to get the power plugged in. So on the back, you can see here we have these two BNC connectors. We're going to slide this on and then give it a little quarter turn until it locks. Same for the next one. We're going to slide it on, give it a quarter turn until it locks. Now when you read the manual for the Shure ULX system and many other systems, it's recommended that you put the antennas at 45 degrees, just like bunny ears on an old TV. Now some people on our team, they've, they've found that they've got better results doing one up and one out because the idea is that there's a donut sized array coming out of this antenna. So it kind of starts as a small cone and gets bigger and bigger. I've never had any problems with either one. It's a kind of like a comical debate with our team, but I'll just go with what the manual says. Keep those at 45 degrees. Next, we're gonna plug in the power. You can see here on the Shure ULX system, there's a locking connector. This is really great when you're looking for reliability. You just screw it in here and the connector locks. Next, we're gonna plug in the XLR cable. When you plug in the X XLR cable to connect this receiver to your uh, audio mixer, it's a good time to be thinking whether or not you want this to be line level or mic level. So we'll connect this, and then let's assume we're going to a mixer. So I just make this one little switch here that goes from line level to mic level. I want that set to be mic level because it's gonna be coming into a preamp on a mixer get these antennas back up where they need to be. Okay, so before you turn on microphones, you need to find out what the wireless is doing in your area. It's very, very, very common at big convention centers that there will be tons of other units exactly like this operating at other conferences. Even if you're in a downtown hotel venue, you'll get radio interference from uh, other hotels that are across the street from you. These things do have a 300 foot line of sight, so it's a pretty impressive uh, distance that these will cover, but obviously they do go farther than that, they're just less reliable. So keep that in mind when you're setting this up. You need to find out what other microphones are operating in your area, but the good news is that this will do that for you. On the Shure ULX system, th there are two sections. There's groups and there's channels, okay? So you need to find a clean group, and all your microphones for your conference or your event need to be in the same group. There's about 20 channels per group. So first of all, we're gonna search for a clean group. Most of the time, you'll walk in, you'll just go one, one, and you'll see if that, there's any interference, but I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way. So you hold mode and set until it blinks, and then you hit the jog knob. Now you'll see it scanning. It'll go through channel or group one, it'll count to channel 20, it'll go group two, 
encounter channel 20. It'll keep going and going and going. Chances are it's going to go all the way back to group 1, channel 1, uh, because it likes keeping the numbers low when it has the option to do that. Okay, so just, so I, just as I guessed, it landed on channel 1-1. One, one. There's not a lot of wireless interference here. That's extremely common, but it's a good move to do just to set yourself up. So now we're going to pair our microphone with our receiver. That's the next step. We want these two to talk. If you have multiple receivers, what you want to do at this point is you want to stack them on top of each other. Uh, you can use an antenna combination uh, system to get all the antennas together, or you can use all the antennas separately. It's totally fine. Um, and then you'll do the same process. So before you fire up any microphones, you need to go find your channels. So it'll probably be group one, one, group one, two, group one, three, and so on. It'll just keep counting up, and you can go all the way up to 20 microphones in one system, as long as they fit in the same group. You don't want your microphones in the same room on different groups. That's just a recommendation from Sure. Chances are you probably don't have 20 wireless microphones. If you do, uh, you'll probably be a little more versed in this type of stuff. So we'll turn on the microphone. It's important, once you turn on the microphone for the rest of your event, if you can afford the batteries, which is sometimes an issue, uh, just leave them on all the time. Um, one reason is when you have this microphone on, it will protect that frequency. And what that means is if another AV tech in another room starts up his wireless receiver, they will see that you have microphones on that channel. But what you don't want is to leave all your microphones off. He goes and sets his channels and then turns his microphones off. And when you turn your microphone on, you will start coming out of both sound systems. This is a very primitive radio system, right? If all the receivers are listening to the same frequency, you will turn on your microphone, that's a transmitter, and it will transmit to all those receiving stations. So that's something to keep in mind. So we'll turn this off. We'll turn the microphone on. As you can see here, it loaded up with group one, channel eight. That was from the previous uh, system that we had set up. So we'll hit mode. And then you can hit set to change the, mo uh, the group number. We don't want to do that. We just want to use it on group one. So we'll hit mode again to lock it in. And then we can set the channel. Again, you can hit set, go all the way up to 20. And eventually it will loop around and come back to channel one. And then you hit mode to lock it in. When you, when you hit mode to lock it in, you will see the RF climb here from zero to five bars. You want five healthy bars, but also before that, you want zero bars. If you have zero bars when your microphone is off, that means that there's nothing else competing for that channel. When you turn your microphone on, it should come up to five bars, and when you talk, you should get this nice little green beep there, okay? It means you're getting signal. Now, there is gain on the microphone itself, so you can use a small screwdriver in this little gain spot uh, to adjust the gain to bring it up to the level that you want. It's really hard sometimes to set gain accurately with a, with a proper sound check with your presenter. Uh, we set it quite conservatively. That's why you just see one little uh, beep there because sometimes you'll get an MC or an auctioneer or somebody that really knows what they're doing and they will be projecting way loud into the capsule. It's always easier to la uh, add gain from the console than it is to make a peaking microphone sound good. So most of ours is set pretty conservatively. Again, hopefully you get a, a chance to sound check and you can set the gain uh, in an area where you don't have to um, add too much gain from your console or uh, deal with a peaking microphone. The peaking microphone is the worst scenario, so you definitely want to protect against that. It's always easier to add gain at the console than to deal with a peaking receiver. Uh, but that's how you set up a wireless microphone system. We have the Shure ULX system here, but most other uh, microphone systems work the same. Sennheiser is very, very similar, just a couple little syntax things on what buttons to hit when. Uh, but the same process, you want to get your receiver into that clean frequency range, and then you want to add your microphone after that. You want to do all your receivers first, then add all your microphones. If you want to buy this unit, we have some links uh, to some partners that we have where you can buy this or a microphone that like it, 
But if you're coming to Vancouver, you can also rent this from us. We're a full-scale AV and production company, and we have a warehouse full of this type of stuff. So we'd love to work with you on your event. Uh, please email us, events at kettnercreative.com. For everything else, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching.